to NinjaTag. In this video, we will see how can we create database using MySQL server. So uh, first of all, you should be in the root directory. So I am in the root directory. Now we need to install the MySQL 8 community server. So uh, we need to write the command rpm minus uvh so uh, i have written this command now press enter so now uh, we need to write another command uh, now enter this command now you need to write another command uh, now enter this command after this you need to write the last command which is uh, now enter the command so now uh, it is installing so uh, it is almost done so uh, the mysql server 8 is installed now the next step is to uh, start mysql service so uh, for this i will write service mysql d start so now it is started now we will check the status of the uh, mysql d server yes it is active now the next step is that uh, we will write the command to show the default password for the root user so uh, for this i will write grep enter this command so it is showing me that a temporary password is generated now the next step is to enable the mysql secure installation for this i will write mysql underscore secure again underscore installation now enter the command it is asking me to enter the password for user root the temporary pass we have to enter the temporary password which is here so uh, you need to copy this password after selecting click copy and then paste here now enter yes it is saying that existing password for the user account root has expired please set a new password so uh, now you need to uh, set a very difficult password so let's try So now uh, I have entered the uh, difficult password. Make sure that make sure that the password is uh, difficult enough. So now uh, yes, we have uh, changed the password for root. So write Y or you can also write yes. Now enter the password. Now it is showing it is asking you to remove an anonymous user. Yes. Now again, yes. Now again, right? Why or yes? Yes. So, yes, uh, uh, it is uh, showing me that all done. So now uh, we have performed this step mysql secure installation and now we need to restart and enable the mysql service so uh, for this we will write service mysql restart so now the configurations are saved in mysql server file now we will connect with the uh, mysql so now uh, we will move uh, on the next step which is uh, connect to mysql for this right now enter now enter the password 
which we have said before now enter now uh, you are in the mysql uh, server now you are in the mysql command line and uh, uh, remember that mysql servers commands or statements end with semicolon so now uh, we will write a command to show uh, database so we will write show databases so uh, it is uh, giving me error because uh, i haven't put semicolon at the end of the command so now again so i have written two commands that's why it is giving me error now enter now press enter so now uh, it is showing me the database uh, so uh, we have already connected with the uh, database and uh, now uh, i will create database and will uh, write the command to show tables i will create database with the name ninja tech so uh, the database with the name ninja tech is created now i'll write use ninja tech so now uh, we uh, database is changed now i will write show tables so now it is showing me that uh, you don't have any tables yet because uh, we haven't created any table so now uh, we will create the table by writing create table name ninja or uh, like we will create student so uh, student is the entity and now we have to enter the attribute the possibilities can be student id and we want it in integer format not null student name we want this in variable form we can also set the range the maximum character can be 50 primary key is student id now I will enter the command so it is showing me that you have an error in SQL syntax check the manual that corresponds so it is showing me that you have got error near student ID oh so uh, I have missed the spelling of key so now again entering so now uh, the table is created now I will write the command show tables so now it is showing me that tables is ninja tech so now uh, to see the more depth view i will write describe table name student so uh, now it is showing me that uh, there are three fields student id student name student city and uh, it is also showing me the type it is also showing me the uh, null values uh, and uh, it is also showing me that uh, the primary is student id and uh, default these are null because we haven't entered any name or uh, city name or any other information except attributes uh, so that's how we can connect the sql server with the uh, database